whether they have gastroenterologists reflux disease that means gastroesophageal reflux disease is a common clinical problem it is a day to day problem which is faced by so many individuals or uh, the patients it's presents by uh, retrosternal burning pain it may occurs because of the regurgitation of uh, acid food or bile from the stomach into the esophagus that irritates the esophageal mucosa which gives retrosternal burning pain uh not only retrosternal burning pain patients also complain of regurgitation of any food or any acid or any liquids coming into the esophagus and into the throat classically it presents by any retrosternal burn a regurgitation of uh, the food or a bile or an acid and many of the patients uh, do have a nocturnal uh, acid reflux nocturnal burning pain and some of those patients may not have any of this retrosternal burning pain or throat pain or regurgitation they do have and they may present with a, a chronic cough which is not a relief and uh, that occasionally may be because of the reflux uh, disease uh, then uh, reflux disease occurs in those people who are obese who are sedentary, who are having a sedentary lifestyle who are smokers or who are alcoholics many of the times these patients uh, have a habit of uh, lying down immediately after taking a, a food that is lunch or any dinner that uh, causes much more symptoms and in those people in, in some of those individuals who have this reflux disease there is a a little uh, laxity of the lobe so there is a sphincter and also an hiatus hernia which predisposes uh, uh, to the reflux of an gastric contents into the esophagus and uh, this occurs because of the transient esophageal uh, low, lower esophageal sphincter relaxations this occasionally this reflux occurs in many individuals that should not be a problem but which occurs frequently as a two or three times uh, more than in a week definitely it indicates that it is a severe a, a reflux disease and that uh, has to be taken care of that time when it is occurring recurrently or frequently then one that individual has to consult a doctor basically we can tell that this is a lifestyle disease because it is more common in those uh, who are sedentary uh, who have a sedentary lifestyle and who are obese and who take uh, alcohol or who smoke frequently so smoke and it's important that they get rid of all these habits like a smoking and alcohol they should also be very active physically so uh, and also they should try to reduce the weight if at all they are over uh, weight or obese and uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease occasionally can present with an a discomfort or in a difficulty in swallowing because of the strictures those are called as peptic strictures and occasionally there can be an a, a malignancy underlying over a period of time this reflux disease uh, causes uh, barrett's mucosa which is a pre malignant condition in some of those individuals it may be predisposed to the development of an esophageal carcinoma that's why when a reflux disease patients high risk dysphagia they have to be evaluated with an endoscopy and see what exactly is the reason for as i said the treatment includes basically it's a lifestyle uh, disease the lifestyle modification etc but treat, uh, medical treatment is the main stay proton pump inhibitors that is uh, either uh, omeprazole pantoprazole lansoprazole esomeprazole are the treatment of choice and one has to take regularly uh, uh, for this proton pump inhibitors for at least 8 weeks after consulting in a, a, a clinician or a, a physician or in a gastroenterologist so the what dose is required etc and what are the other any predisposition conditions they have so with that in a comprehensive advice they have to follow uh, this treatment for uh, uh, at least a minimum of 8 uh, weeks and also uh, there is a chance that these two uh, these symptoms do recur or uh, may persist for a longer time that time we, we have to evaluate with the uh, other uh, test is, is there any other reason for them to have these symptoms so in the uh, in the clinical it is a clinical diagnosis but we do take the 
advantage of an endoscopy or you know 24 hour C stage penis symmetry in those stage cases. Occasionally they may require a surgery which may include strengthening of an elevated stage sphincter, etc. And either using in a bands or in a surgery uh, like a frontoplication. I think uh, 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 having in a good lifestyle, uh, avoiding uh, the overweight and uh, consulting the doctors uh, in an appropriate time, follow the medication uh, regularly and if there is any atypical symptoms or any complications, it's a must for you to have in a review.